upset about the video that I released saying that the real Jews are black. All right. The real Jews are black. You need to get over that bullshit, man. Moses was black. Charlton Heston, who played Moses, was white. That was a movie, okay? If Moses was white, how would he pass as the Pharaoh's grandson? That's something you need to think about. It's right there in the book, okay? He would have stood out over there in Egypt, all right? The Pharaoh looked like Eddie Murphy. He did not look like Charlton Heston, okay? Moses would have looked more like Richard Pryor. Y'all need to get it straight, man. History is history. Are you upset? Will you deny a Mashiach, a Messiah, to come back and carry your sins because you don't like the color of their skin? You'd be disappointed, man. Do you care? Is it? Do you want a skinhead uh, Yahusha? Is that what you want? You want uh, what you call Jesus to come back, carry your sins only if they fit your requirement of skin pigment? Just don't make no sense, man. Mashiach was sitting in Egypt as a baby. All right, how would he been heading over there? If he was white, he would have stood out. The Hebrew Israelites are black, okay? You Khazars saying you're them and that you're the bloodline, you're wrong. You wanna get grafted in through faith? Fine, I'm down with that. You see me, I have no motive, all right? I'm not black. I don't think you get in just for being black. You don't get in the kingdom for that. You gotta keep Torah, there's a lot involved, all right? But the curses in Deuteronomy are about to end. And it says in the book, I'll bless those that bless you and curse those that curse you. And out of you, all nations shall be blessed. All right? When them curses in Deuteronomy end, are you going to be found blessing the real Jews, the black people, or are you going to be cursing them? All right? And you think about these things. It's all in that book nobody wants to read, but everybody acts like they know so well. So if you want to hate on me, you want to threaten me, do whatever. I ain't hard to find. It is what it is. I'm out. But I need to put this out there and put this out there right now. The white Jews that you and I have honored and been taught all these years are God's chosen people is an absolute lie. They are imposters. They are fake. They are descendants of the Romans that rose up into power in between the New Testament and the, and the Old Testament that we as Christians believe was the Dark Ages. But God was speaking. We were talking about the book, The Zionist Movement. We were talking about the history of the original Jews, and John here has some history that most people don't know. And what was that history you said? Tell me what you just said. Yes, I gotta get on camera. There's only one true ethnic Jew, the Mizrahi Jew, because they are Africans, and if you read the original Bible written in Egypt Hebrew, they're not. Jewish people are not Europeans. The modern Jews in Israel are Russians from well, Khazars, to be precise, from <laughs> Russia. And would you learn that history? I learned it from my grandfather that he was a because he was an Ashkenazi. First of all, all praises to the Father Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakadash. Shabbat Shalom to all the brothers in recognition, brothers and sisters that is, in recognition to observing this day for worshiping the Most High. Sundown this evening to sundown tomorrow evening. Let's get some worship and praises in my people. We definitely need to in these troubling times. As you can see, our Father is giving us a message, okay, of who we are. As time is starting to wind down, it's everywhere and every other nation of people is starting to tell the truth of who we are. That's the reason why I titled this particular lesson right here, A Letter from the Father, okay? If you're wondering about this picture right here, it's a real picture of a face in the clouds that I, I thought would be befitting for this particular lesson, okay? I'm not saying that this is the Father, okay? <laughs> but it's some sort of spirit, and if I had to guess, I would say it was an angel of some sort. You understand? So I decided to use this, you know, in the lesson. But yes, uh, we're winding down in the time to where the truth is being told, being that we are in the book of Revelations right now. And it's time for us, for those of us that hasn't repented, to repent. You understand? Because it's not going to be much longer before the Most High 
comes back and redeem his chosen, his children, his people. You understand what I'm saying? From this tyranny that we have been living under for centuries. Okay? And time is speeding up faster and faster. We don't have time to be putting off repentance. You understand? Because if you are caught unrepentant, well, you are not going to be saved. I'm going to just say that. Okay? You are not going to be saved. And that's just what it is. Okay? Without further ado, let's get into the lesson. We're going to start over on Baruch 4, verse 1. And we're going to take it down, I think, to 36, if I'm not mistaken. So let's get into it. Here we go. Baruch chapter 4, verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of Yahweh and the law that endureth forever. All that they keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Okay? So that tells you right there too, everybody that's running around, for the one, excuse me, that's running around here talking about the soul never dies, energy, only thing can happen with it, it can just be transferred. That is a lie. Let's continue. Turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. Okay? Jacob is the tribe of Israel, Judah. Okay, just so you know. All right. Give not thy honor to another, nor the things that are profitable unto thee to a strange nation. O Israel, happy are we. For things that are pleasing to Yahweh are made known to, unto us. Be of good cheer, my people, the memorial of Israel. Ye were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because ye move Yahweh to wrath. Ye were delivered unto the enemies. All right. That's what it is, people. Now, for those, I mean, I, I don't know how much plainer that this can get, you know, to show our people who we are. You see, but for those of us that, that does not seek the Father, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, perish for lack of knowledge because they don't search his word out. It's all right here. It's all right here. Let's continue. For ye provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to Yahweh. This is how we fell into the curses, people. All right. To continue, he hath forgotten the everlasting Yahweh that brought you up, and ye have grieved Jerusalem that nursed you. For when she saw the wrath of Yahweh coming upon you, she said, Hearken, O ye, that dwell about Zion. Yahweh have brought up well, upon me great mourning. Have this not what our people been doing? Great mourning. You understand what everything that we see, the unjust, you understand, injustice, you know, things that's been happening to our people. No fair shakes whatsoever. You know, uh, I just saw a story where a young man was gunned down in Ohio by the police because he was in the bed when they bust in the door, you know, and he, he raised up. He just sat up in the bed and he had a vape pen. They killed him over a vape pen, right? You understand? I mean, we've seen uncountless stories like this. You know, people, you know, uh, that's running away from the cops, gunned down, you know. But that's okay. We can count it all as good, right? Right now, don't we can't see this, but when the Most High said count it all as good, that's what we're going to do. Because this chapter right here is going to get into what's going to happen to these low-life surface dwellers, subhumans. Okay, that is doing a lot of this wickedness. Let's continue. Verse 10. For I saw the captivity of my sons and daughters, which the everlasting brought upon them. With joy did I nourish them, but sent them away with weeping and mourning. Let no man rejoice over me, a widow, and forsaken of many, 
who for the sins of my children am left desolate because they departed from the law of Yahweh. Okay? They knew not his statutes, nor walked in the ways of his commandments, nor trod in the path of discipline in his righteousness. All right. Let me say this. This goes out to all the self wannabe gods. You fit this because you worship yourself, calling yourself we the gods and goddesses. No, you're not. You fit this. And swift destruction is going to befall you if you don't repent from it. And that's just what it is. All right? Calling yourself righteous. You're not righteous. You're not. None of us are righteous. Our righteousness, before the Most High, is counted as filthy rags. All right? Just so you know. Let's continue. Verse 14. Let them that dwell about Zion come. And remember ye the captivity of my sons and daughters, which... The everlasting has brought upon them. For he hath brought a nation upon them from far, a shameless nation, and of a strange language, who neither reverence old man nor pits, well pity child. Ain't that's what they did in slavery? Is it not what they did in slavery? Did they worry about the old? No, they mistreated them too, and children. They didn't care. Let's continue. These have carried away the dear beloved children of the widow and left her that was alone, desolate, without daughters. But that can I help you? Question. For he hath brought these plagues upon you, will deliver you from the hands of your enemies. Okay? Go your way, O oh my children. Go your way. For I am left desolate. I have put off the clothing of peace and put upon me the sackcloth of my prayer. I will cry unto the everlasting in my days. That's what we got to do, people. We can't worship ourselves, calling ourselves gods like we don't have, we don't need our power, Yahweh. By Shem Yahweh Shai. You understand? These people I'm talking about rather worship themselves and they are in the most piteous, I mean pitiful, excuse me, form of living conditions. But they still rather worship themselves than to worship the Most High by Shimei Shai. You understand what I'm saying? That's just what it is. Continue uh, verse 21. Be of good cheer, O my children. Cry unto the Lord. And he will deliver you from the power and the hand of the enemies. For my hope is in the everlasting that we will save you. And joy is come unto me from the Holy One because of the mercy which shall soon come unto you from the everlasting our Savior. For I sent you out with mourning and weeping. But Yahweh will give you you to me again with joy O gladness forever like as now the neighbors of Zion excuse me Sion have been your captivity so shall they see shortly your salvation from our Yahweh our power Yahweh which shall come upon you with great glory and brightness of the everlasting See, and when he does that, he's going to destroy the enemy with the brightness of his coming. All right. Now, this is what we come here for right here. Verse 25. My children suffer patiently. The wrath that has come upon you from Yahweh, from thy enemy, have persecuted thee. But shortly thou shalt see his destruction and shalt tread upon his neck. Do you hear that? I'm going to say it again. My children suffer patiently. The wrath that is come upon you from Yahweh. For thine enemy hath persecuted thee. But shortly thou shalt see his destruction and shalt tread upon his neck. Keep that in mind, people. It is important. Okay? Because this is what we long for to see our enemy 
get what's coming to them, all right? All the little dirty things that they are doing in the dark and as well as the light, they gonna answer for. And they gonna get their damn neck stomped upon. That's what the word says. If the word says it, you have to believe it because everything the word has already prophesied, do we not see come forth? Do we not see it? Let's continue. My delicate ones have gone rough ways and were taken away as a flock caught up, well, caught of the enemies. Be of good comfort, O oh my children, and cry unto Yahweh, for ye shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. For as it was your mind to go astray from Yahweh, so being returned, seek him ten times more. It says seek him ten times more, people. Not yourselves, because you belong to Father Yahweh. By Shem Yahweh Shai. Alright? That's who you belong to. You are not your own God. Keep this in mind. And look sideways at these ones that call themselves gods. I'm a god. I'm a goddess. <laughs> Verse 29. For he that hath brought these plagues upon ye, upon you shall bring you everlasting joy with your salvation. Take a good heart, O Jerusalem. For he that gave thee, that name will comfort thee. Miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoice at thy fall. Okay? We know who is talking about those who afflicted us. That has kept us vexed. Vexed means angered. Pretty much worried. Upset. Antagonized. You understand what I mean? Agitated. <laughs> All of that. Okay? We're going to rejoice at the their fall. Alright? We're going to rejoice at their fall. Miserable are the cities which thy children serve. Miserable is she that received thy sons. Okay? Desolation is coming upon these low lights. For as she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad of thy fall, so shall she be grieved for her own desolation. See? So see, when we fell into these curses. These low life subhumans was glad. You understand what I mean? And they were glad for a long time. But now they mad because they see their desolation coming and ain't a damn thing they can do to stop it. You understand what I'm saying? This is the reason why you see a lot of them telling the truth now. They are afraid. All right? Verse 34. For I will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude, and her pride shall be turned into mourning. Same thing that happened to us will happen to them. Okay? For fire shall come upon her from the everlasting, long to endure, and she shall be inhabited of devils for a great time. O Jerusalem, look about thee toward the east. And behold the joy that cometh unto thee from Yahweh. Lo, thy sons come, whom thou sentest, sentest away. They come gathered together for the, from the east to the west by the word of the Holy One, rejoicing in the glory of Yahweh. This is the day's people that we longed for, is it not? Okay? This is what it is. All praises to the Father Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Right? Message from the Father to his children. That's what this all boils down to. These faces up in these clouds are more prevalent than ever. You understand what I'm saying? And the angels are here and they are watching. These are your Akashic records. Keepers. You understand what I'm saying? Because the Most High's eyes dwells to and fro throughout the earth. This is a cloud of witnesses right here. You understand what I'm saying? That's what this is. A cloud of witnesses. And they see and they hear 
everything supernaturally. They keep track. This is the Akashic Records right here. They keep all that. You understand what I'm saying? So, on that day, when you stand before the Father Yahweh, you understand? You want Yahweh Shai to intercede for you and your judgment because these are the record keepers. These are what you're going to have to answer to the Most High for everything you've done. And you want Yahweh Shai to be your attorney. If he's for you as your attorney, I can guarantee you, you're going to be all right. But you won't be if you resist Yahweh Shai, who the Father sent to the lost tribes of Israel, our people. All right? That's just what it is, people. That's just what it is. Don't let nobody tell you different. These people who will try to tell you did different, inadvertently, some not inadvertently, work for the enemy. They work for Satan himself. They do. I don't care how beloved they are to you. They are of that wicked one. All right? Kenite bloodline, no doubt. Because if you're against Yahweh Shai and you will reverence yourself as a god, then more than likely you are of the Kenite bloodline. And the Kenites come directly from Satan. They are the seed of Satan himself. Cain was the first murder. The Kenites are his children that flow from him, his seed. And the Kenites' grandfather is Satan. That's what it all boils down to. And I'm going to tell you something. They were black before they became white. And they, so a lot of them are still black. They still come from that seed line. This is the reason why they have such great hate for the Hamashiach. Great hate that they have for the Hamashiach. Big time, man. All you got to do is mention them. You can say Jesus, which we know he's fictitious, but explain to them and teach them that the Hamashiach's identity was ripped off and they still will reject him. The real Hamashiach is a black man by the name of Yahweh Shai. He goes by many names, you know what I mean? For whatever reason, that's the way the Most High, I guess, set it up. Okay, Yahweh, Yahuwah, well, well, not Yahweh, but Yah, Yahuwah, Yahusha, Yahweh, I mean, all these different names. But when he come back, it is written, I can't remember the scripture, but when he does come back, he will be wearing a crown with a name that no man knows. Could that be his real name? Who knows? Probably so. We don't know right now. But the Most High all knows our hearts. And if you are not reverencing the Hamashiach, then well, you won't have a lawyer on Judgment Day. Let's just say that. <laughs> That's all I got on this particular lesson, my people. I hope you found this lesson edifying. You understand? And I hope it helps you to a greater understanding of who we are as a people okay tell me what you think about this particular lesson in the comment section i'm interested in hearing your thoughts views and opinions on it like comment share and subscribe and this is the reason why people are always in my videos by telling you please live your life as though we are being watched simply because we are this is james and i'm out peace